What is going on, everybody? All right, so I'm here to show you guys a tutorial for PC. Everybody's favorite thing to do on PC change the cyber faces. Don't know why, but change the cyber faces. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm not going to change the face of a real player. Let's see if I have any creative players. I'm in my league, so you can add creative players to my league by going to front office, going down to creative player. Oh, yeah, look at that. I've got a face for testing already. All right. So I'm going to go in the edit player. I'm sure some of you didn't even know you could do this from inside of my league, but you can. All right. So now I'm going to pull up a cheat engine table that I have. I mean, I, I've been using my own uh, a table that I already have, but this one is much easier to use. Um, and so I figured I'd do a tutorial because you guys will find this very easy to use. So I'll have the link down in the description for you guys. Big shout out to K Smith who actually created the original table. I just uh, shortened the table down to only the few things that you'll need for this tutorial. All right, so we're gonna click here on the second box. So if you notice, if I click that first box, it does that. If I click the second box. As you can see, it comes up with the player that's in the edit player screen. And I can quickly change the name and cyberface of the player so right now it is a james wiseman cyberface and let's see i'm going to change it to i don't know i just change it to whatever other prospect this is after james wiseman you see the face doesn't change it does not change here all you have to do is go down to shoes and gear and then just back out huh? and it changes so there you go all right so i believe let me find so all I'm doing is just changing the value here just double click here and you can change the value now there is a drop down list but these are the other faces from I believe this this list is either from 2k20 or 2k19 I can't remember which one but anyway some of these faces may not work but uh, if you assign the face of a female player the player will go invisible so let's uh let's check it out yeah you see it went invisible there all right so that's because i assigned the face of a female when you assign the face of a female or kid can y'all turn down the tv when you assign the face of a female or a child then they go invisible when you're on the male teams but if you're in the WNBA editing a player you can change it to a female all right, so let's do this again. Let's change it to somebody else. I don't know if this face is still in the game, but we're gonna try it. All right, comes back up. Works good. All right, and then do do da 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 da. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna sign another another face. Let's see, ATM is he still in the game? Oh wow, ATM has a new, this is actually what uh, he looks like in real life at this time. He doesn't have the high top anymore in real life. He has, I don't think he's had that high top in a long time, but they rescanned the guy who plays ATM. That makes me think he's going to be in next gen as part of the story. That would be cool if he was. You know what, let's see if they got frequency vibrations while we're at it. Let's see if he has a new scan. Uh, I can't remember. I just don't remember his Cyberface ID. I think it's like 6030 or something. No, it's not. It's not 6030. Maybe it's six. No, it wouldn't be after ATM. You know what? I can look up his cyber face. I've got an old cyber face lookup tool from like 2K19 or something. Frequency vibrations is 6120. Well, let's see if he's in the game. So it looks like he has the same scan he's been having for a while. 
Or is it new? No, nah, it looks kind of updated, actually. I think they did update it. Why would they go through the trouble of updating this? Because he didn't have a beard before. Huh. So maybe they're going to do something with these guys in um, next gen. We'll see. Now, let's see. Do they have Vic? Vic, 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 Vic. I don't know. Vic Van Leer. I can't remember his Cyberface ID number. All right, Vic Van. All right, uh, let's see if Shammy Wells is in here. I can't remember Vic Van Leer's. Uh, Shammy is in here. Who's some other ones? Let's go look at Ronnie 2K. Alright, so. That gave Ronnie way too much hair up top, man. I think Ronnie's kind of balding up there. But anyway, looks decent in game. Alright, so. That's how you do it, guys. It's a quick and easy tutorial. I went through a few faces for you. All you have to do after that, just save your changes, keep changes, and back out or you can just go all the way down to complete which is still giving you the same prompt so again link down in the description to the table case miz deserves all the credit for this table thank you case miz from nlsc and uh there you guys go how to change a cyber face